From the Liturgy of the Hours of the Roman Rite From the Office of Readings From the Journey of the Mind to God By St. Bonaventure Christ is both the way and the door. Christ is the staircase and the vehicle, like the throne of mercy over the Ark of the Covenant and the mystery hidden from all ages. A man should turn in his full attention to this throne of mercy and should gaze at him hanging on the cross, full of faith, hope, and charity, devoted, full of wonder and joy, marked by gratitude, and open to praise and jubilation. Then such a man shall make with Christ a pasch, that is, a passing over. Through the branches of the cross he will pass over the Red Sea, leaving Egypt and entering the desert. There he will taste the hidden manna and rest with Christ in the sepulchre, as if he were dead to things outside. He will experience as much as is possible for one who is still living what was promised to the thief who hung beside Christ, Today you will be with me in paradise. For this Passover to be perfect, we must suspend all the operations of the mind, and we must transform the peak of our affections, directing them to God alone. This is a sacred, mystical experience. It cannot be comprehended by anyone unless he surrenders himself to it, nor can he surrender himself to it unless he longs for it, nor can he long for it unless the Holy Spirit whom Christ sent into the world should come and inflame his innermost soul. Hence the Apostle says that this mystical wisdom is revealed by the Holy Spirit. If you ask how such things can occur, seek the answer in God's grace, not in doctrine, in the longing of the will, not in the understanding, in the size of prayer, not in the research, Seek the bridegroom, not the teacher, God and not man, darkness, not daylight, and look not to the light, but rather to the raging fire that carries the soul to God with intense fervor and glowing love. The fire is God and the furnace is in Jerusalem, fired by Christ in the ardor of his loving passion. Only he understood this who said, My soul chose hanging and my bones death. Anyone who cherishes this kind of death can see God, for it is certainly true that no man can look upon me and live. Let us die then and enter into the darkness, silencing our anxieties, our passions, and all the fantasies of our imagination. Let us pass over with the crucified Christ from this world to the Father, so that, When the Father has shown himself to us, we can say with Philip, It is enough. We may hear with Paul, My grace is sufficient for you, and we can rejoice with David, saying, My flesh and my heart fail me, but God is the strength of my heart and my heritage forever. Blessed be the Lord forever, and let all the people say, Amen, Amen. Almighty God and Father, enlighten our minds with the splendor of St. Bonaventure's teaching and help us to imitate his ardent love of you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen.